Hello, my name is Michelle, and in this video, I'm going to be making a tier list of Crown Label print series. Uh, Crown Label was Metamorphose Tom de Fee's subline, which focused more on sweeter themes, and it ran from 2009 to 2017. Unfortunately, it does seem that the line is dormant at this point. There hasn't been a new release or a re release since 2017, which is a real shame because so many of those pieces were absolutely adorable and I'd love to see them get sort of a second life in the community, but I don't think that's in the cards. Um, I also want to shout out to Lolitas who sort of inspired me to make this video because I really enjoy their tier list videos. They are Pink Fake Flowers and Lavender Wonder Clouds, so shout out to both of them. I also want to put a disclaimer that this is not serious at all. I really like all of the print series that I'm going to be talking about in this video, so even if I put one lower, that doesn't mean I think it's bad. It's just not suited to my taste. So yeah, I hope this is a fun video, and let's get started. Hi, this is Michelle back again. Um, I actually already recorded this <laughs> video about a month ago, but lost the audio for it, so I'm doing another run. Um, my opinions on some of these prints have actually changed since the first time I recorded, so hopefully it's still fun. Um, but uh, I just want to briefly go over the tiers. S is what I would consider like a personal dream print, something that I think is like exceptionally good. A is an excellent print, not quite a dream print, but I still like it a lot. B is good, not like outstanding, but still good. C is okay, or like mixed opinion, where there are things about it that I like and things about it that I don't like. And then D is just not for me. Um, None of these prints are bad in my opinion, but not all of them like appeal to my sensibilities or my personal style in Lolita, which is why they might end up there. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm gonna run through these in like semi-chronological order. Um, I have them ordered by like year of release, but not by specific month of release. Um, first up is Fairy Playing Cards. This is a cute print, but it, it's, there are things about it that make me hesitate. I don't think I'll ever personally own this print, but I do think it's cute. Um, I feel like, and this is weird coming from me, I feel like it's a little too busy. The contrast is a little too high. Those are qualities that I normally enjoy in a print, but the, the like contrast has to feel balanced to me. And in this print, I don't know that it feels the most balanced. Um, for that reason, I'm going to put it in C tier. I understand if you like it, because I do think the print artwork is very cute, but the the overall composition is a little off to me. Next up from 2009, we have Rabbit Plushie. This is a really unique series. I think it would work well for old school or for punk styles. Um, and I do enjoy the fact that it is an applique print, since we don't see a lot of those anymore. Um, but... I don't know that I personally would own it, it just doesn't suit my personal style very well, but at the same time there's like nothing really wrong with it. Um, it's simple, it's cute, so I think I'm going to put it in B tier. Now next up we have Sweets Time. This is one of my favorite prints from Meta. I would actually really love to own it someday. I don't know that it's quite a dream print, but I do really adore this print. I think it's so well done. And I love both of the colorways, the black and the pink. Um, I really love Tea Time prints. I think the artwork for this print is so cute and uh, I know that there were like novelties released with this uh, series, like a pillow, I believe. I would love to own that pillow someday. Um, so I'm definitely putting this one in A tier. Next up we have Strawberry Cream. This is another really cute series. I love berry prints. Although I think of the berry prints from Crown Label, this one is the lesser one. That being said, I still think I probably would like to own it someday. Um, I especially like the black and the cream colorways. The green is unique, but I don't wear green a ton, so I don't know that it's for me. Um, but this is a really simple, really cute berry print. There's like nothing wrong with it. It's just adorable, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Next up we have Candy Star Rabbit. Um, this is a print I definitely have mixed feelings about. 
I like the concept of it and I like the elements in like the theme of the print. I even like the striped background, but I just don't love the print artwork. Something about it feels a little simple to me and or something about the style just doesn't mesh well to me. I would guess prefer it in the art like the art style that a lot of other crown label prints have that's a little bit more painterly but still pop arty. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but it is cute. I don't think I'll ever personally own it, but it it is cute. Hmm. This one's a tough call. I think I'll put it in C tier. The last series from 2009 is March of Duck. And this is definitely a dream print of mine. I love baby ducks. I love baby duck prints. I feel like we really don't get enough of them. And this one is so, so, so cute. Um, I would own it in any of the colorways, to be honest, if I saw the Shuring JSK come up for a good price. And I'd own any cut of this release in the Saks colorway. I just think it's really, really adorable. Um, I love sort of like the pool theme mixed with the baby ducks. It's so fresh and fun and summery, so this is definitely going in S tier. Moving into 2010, we're going to talk about the first print that I actually own myself, which is Honey Picnic. Um, I own the Shuring JSK in pink. It was a dream print of mine for a really long time. I think it's one of the best releases Meta has ever had. The forest picnic teddy bear, like the whole combination is so stinking cute. And if you ever get a chance to see the print artwork in person, it's so lovely and detailed and just like gorgeous. So no surprise, I'm definitely putting it in S tier. Next up is another print that I already own, Popping Balloon. I own the skirt in sacks and I would love to own one of the JSK cuts someday in cream or sacks. I think that this series is so cute and so underrated. Um, it's like ice cream hot air balloons and other various sweets. It's so adorable once you see it in person and I really wish people talked about it more because it is like just top tier to me so I'm also going to put that one in S tier. Next up is Cake Print. Um, this is I believe a screen print or some sort of glitter print. Um, I do think it is really cute, but I don't know that I personally would own it. Um, more simple like screen prints like that aren't especially my style, but I do recognize that it is like kind of iconic and like in its simplicity is perfect. So I'm definitely going to be putting it in A tier. Next up is pretty much the only dress in this mix that I actually dislike. And I, I'm sorry to say it, but heart print is not for me. Um, this is definitely a matter of personal preference. If this print was polka dots, I'm sure I would love it. But in, I understand that this is weird for a sweet Lolita, but I do have a bit of an aversion to hearts, like as in the shape. I, I've never liked them ever since I was a child. I've always found them to be a bit tacky. And so for me, it's a no-go. I am going to have to put this one in D tier, but if you love this one, I completely understand. Like I said, if it was polka dots, I would probably love it also, but because of my own weirdsies, it's just not for me. Now we're moving into 2011 with Sweet Street. This print is a dream print of mine. It's actually one that I'm kind of semi-actively searching for at the moment. It's like a Parisian street scene. It's so stinking cute and both colorways are lovely. I would love to own this in the um, in the OP or in the JSK, especially the JSK because I think the JSK cut is adorable. But I love this print artwork. I love anything with Parisian themes with poodles. So this one is definitely going into S tier for me. Next up we have Tales of the Wood. So this is perhaps a hot take, but I think Tales of the Wood is cuter than Milky Chan the Fawn. I know, I know, I know. I, ju I just think it's cuter. I just think it's cuter. I'm sorry. It's a more complete scene. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
Um, I do think Milky Chan the Fawn is cute, but I would definitely prefer to own Tales of the Wood over Milky Chan the Fawn. I think this print is kind of underrated as well because I think it deserves sort of the icon status that Milky Chan has. Um, and it's so adorable. All of the colorways are lovely. I would love to own this print someday, so it's definitely going into S tier for me. Next up is another print that I already own, which is Cotton Candy. I own the skirt in Saks. Um, ironically, I'm not going to be putting this one in S tier like the other dresses I've owned this far. And I do like Cotton Candy, but it is not my typical style and I think um, if I were making it there were things I would have done differently which is you know obviously the case for everything everyone's different um, but it's just very low contrast and while I think the artwork of the print is beautiful it's just a little bit hard to make out because it's so low contrast um, so for that reason I'm gonna put it in B tier um, I think it's a really good print but I just there are some things I would tweak if it were up to me. Next up we have Teddy Chocolatier. This is a print series that I actually changed my mind on pretty recently. Um, for the longest time I wasn't a fan of this print. I do like chocolate prints, um, but there was something about this print series that felt messy to me. Um, like it when I looked at like low res images of the print, it always looked to me as though the like stripes on the like all over print portion of the print were like melting chocolate. And something about melting chocolate irks me. It's like a sensory issue. Like I'm like sticky, messy, gross, ugh, no. I don't like melting chocolate on prints. It's just a me thing. So I never liked this print because I thought it had like a ton of melting chocolate in the print itself. But once I actually got to see the print up close, I realized that it's not melting chocolate, it's like ribbons. And I do like it now. I do think it is very good and I would like to own it someday. It's not quite a dream print, but I do think it's really, really nice. So I'm going to be putting it in A tier. Next up is Sweets Parade. This is another print that I am semi-actively looking for. I would love to own it someday. I love any print that depicts a hot air balloon. I just think they're so fun and cute. And this print is just, it's really joyful to me. Um, I do think it is a little bit busy. Um, it's a little hard to make out the print in some of the colorways because the background is so busy. Um, so I'm not going to put it in S tier for that reason, but the rest of the print is so adorable that I, I can't put it any lower than A. And next up is Strawberry Crown. This is yet another print that I am sort of actively looking for, especially in the pink colorway. This is like the ideal berry print to me. It's simple, it's cute, it's fresh, it's summery. Like, it is perfect in its simplicity. There's just like nothing wrong with it. So I'm definitely gonna be putting it in S tier. Like I just don't know how you can improve upon it. It's already the pinnacle of berry prints to me. Now we're into 2013. First up is Bubble Bath. This is, I think, my most recent purchase. It was a dream print for a long time for me. I own the Shuring JSK in yellow now. And what can I say? This print is adorable. It's so stinking cute. Kittens, bath time. Oh, it's so cute. Um, there's so many fun little details in the print that I just adore. I think if you like cosmetic prints, you should definitely look into getting bubble bath because there's so many fun little cosmetic details in the print. The artwork is so lovely. It's definitely going into S tier for me. Next up, we have another print that I already own. I own Magical Painting in the red skirt, or sorry, the pink skirt, I should say. Um, it is such a fun and joyous and like just pure, lovely little print. Um, it's just like teddy bears and rabbits with art supplies. I always say that if I had become an art teacher, Magical Painting is the sort of thing I would want to wear to class. It is so, so adorable. 
and um, I would love to own it in another colorway. I'd love to own it in any of the colorways, um, especially the Shuring JSK. And I'm not like actively looking for it, but if I ever saw it, I would like have no choice but to grab it. So it's definitely going into S tier for me. Next up is, and on to 2016, we have another print that I already own, Happy Balloon. This was a dream print of mine for many, many years. And um, I own the like the JSK, the, the non-sailor JSK in the blue shade. Um, this print is like perfection. I've never seen such a cool concept for colorways because essentially there's a cream colorway, a blue colorway, and a navy colorway. And the way they've done these colorways, it makes it look as though it's a scene of the sky at different times of the day so that the sky is changing. I think that's so genius and cool. I love this print so much. It's adorable. There's a little rubber ducky balloon. It's all hot air balloons. It's so cute. Um, I love Happy Balloon so much. I would love to own it in all of the colorways eventually someday. So it's definitely going in S tier for me. And in 2017, the last print series from Crown Label, I am gonna end it on a, a teensy bit of a sour note. I don't love this print. I'm really sorry. I know a lot of people love it, but it's... It's not for me. I do think the ads for this series are iconic, but there's something about the art. It's just too small, I guess. The proportions are a little bit off for me. I think I would like it better if the illustrations were bigger um, on the print. Um, I, I do respect this series. I do think that at its core, it is cute, but it's not for me. So I do think I am gonna have to put it in C tier. All right, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that this was fun and I hope that you'll share some of your opinions on crown label pieces in the comments below. I'll definitely include a link to this tier maker. That way you can make your own in the description. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.